By the end of the weekend, we'll be one third of the way through the DSTV Premiership season. And uh, Super Sports United will be hoping to end the weekend with some sort of victory to end successive losses against Kaiser Chiefs and Royal AM. TX Galaxy will be looking to continue with their winning run after picking up their first victory. Team sheets then, three changes made by Super Sports United after that loss against Royal AM when they were leading. And Klaipo comes into the centre of defence. There's a Debocha McQuinn as a welcome return and uh, the international play in midfield and Bradley Problem makes his return up front as well. As far as uh, TX Galaxy is concerned, only the one change then, Menzian Dwandwe gets a debut start for TX Galaxy. He has played four times as a bench player for TX Galaxy so far this season, scored a goal as well, but Polisi uh, Makupu will start the match on the bench. And uh, TX Galaxy yet to score against Matatanse Pretoria after buying the status of Highlands Park and being promoted from South Africa's Glad Africa Championship, the first division. But uh, nice to have international flavour on display. Ronwin Williams, the national team captain and goalkeeper. Tabocha Mokwena back in the starting lineup for national team player. Ethan Brooks, I'm excited to see the 19 year old. We're underway at, at, in Attridgeville at the Lucas Masterpieces Murepe Stadium. It is TX Galaxy in the, what do you call that? Turquoise and red colours that play from right to left. That's Tante Pretori defending the northern end of the Atchisville Stadium playing in the all-white colours and we are anticipating a uh, quite intense match today. Two losses for Super Sports United, all by or both by two goals to one and in fact against Kaiser Chiefs they might have scored a goal but it was an own goal by Norbo for Kaiser Chiefs and uh, against uh, Royal AM it was Tamsan Kagabuza who scored his fourth goal of the season. Touch there for Facility Kolak in a very, very bright pink colour. No clash between himself and the referee today as there was on Wednesday between uh, Hamazulu and Maruma Galant. Did we have to go there? No. <laughs> Stay away from that one. It was just no, it was very disappointing, I'm sure, but it has helped wake up a lot of officials to, just to be on top of their game. Sometimes some of these uh, procedures are taken for granted in some uh, areas, but uh, hey, hopefully that won't happen again. No, certainly not. We're anticipating a lot of flair play, a lot of wing play from Super Sports United, and they've got a break here. They've unfortunately ventured across the touchline. He's back and Barter now looking for a little bit of space and there is space on the edge of the area with uh, Ethan Brooks here. Sells a dummy first time around and then overhits it across the penalty area. I, I like the beginning of it, I didn't quite like the end. Yes, um, yes he might have been put, put off a little bit but he did well to get the defender off his face which is where you will expect at him. Nklapo goes there and he clears him off the way but he doesn't apply power, instead he tries to just get underneath the pool to look it over the wall of players in front of him. Well, he was sold a dummy and uh, Phillips didn't wait for the change, eh? Quality play as he gets the better of his national teammate. Face here, the keeper's come off his line, and oh, that's chipped over the top by Tamsan Kagabuza. A little bit of disarray in the Teague's Galaxy defence, and Super Sports United unable to take advantage of that. He was falling over as he hit it, but uh, I reckon it could have taken a bit more time there, Super Sports United. Without a doubt, and I think it's uh, Lungu who picks up the ball and keeps going and keeps going he looks across there's not a lot and uh, maybe there was pressure that he doesn't connect with the ball accordingly i think it's uh, matiba that actually comes up with the run from the left hand side Pacha, man and ball at the same time with Campani lungu 
uh, fast and loose at the moment, but there is a lovely little touch from Ndwandwe. He's been shepherded wide. Barter. Oh, and Barter's done nicely to shake off Mokwena. Second ball for a shot, it goes over the top. And Nduli misses a good opportunity. TS Galaxy have not come here to make up the numbers. Play underway very quickly indeed. Makitan gets up in front of Gapuza. Back from Weber. And uh, Ethan Brooks got a little touch in there as well. So does Phillips. But it's getting a little bit fast and loose out there at the moment. Gimpani Lungu in a much more central role. Gets past Nduli, but he can't get past Makitan. Makitan, I must say, has made a couple of very, very important uh, challenges today. Interceptions, interventions. As well. I think uh, sometimes you look at the calls, consider it, you think uh, they're having the worst defense, but uh, they're actually a quality defense. Opportunity that goes wide at the target from uh, Super Sports United, and just for a moment, their creativity nearly paid off for Matatanta. It's only their second goal attempt. TS Galaxy have four creative efforts. Good move by Kabuza. And it's Mkwena who makes that attempt in a very high position. And of course, it takes a deflection. I got the ball, but I'm fairly so. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Mbata that is down. Yes. A little bit of a free roll, Mbata. Oh, just never going to go in favour of Super Sports United. That challenge from Gampani. My word. He doesn't touch the ball. That's the difference. Had a good match so far, has the skipper. And the Kukle and Bata, all of 36 years old now. And, uh, those sort of uh, knocks are felt more and more the older you get. I remember him playing for Aces. That is Mumala and Black. It's also looking to who's in the stands. Uh, the national team coach is in the house alongside uh, his assistants, Mkelele. The Midnight Express on the left hand side of the coach. He looks cold. <laughs> <laughs> Not the coach. <laughs> Midnight Express. What a tremendous player in his day. I was talking about Mbata. I remember him when he was still playing for Black Aces in the first division alongside the likes of Musasa, Amuso. Unbelievable. All those have reti since retired like disappeared completely off the scene and uh, he's kept going he's promoted the aces twice Kapani Lungu becomes the second Super Sports United player to pick up a yellow card in this match so he also has to be careful still play splitting his case yeah absolutely play continues two minutes added on to the end of the first half we're already nearly one minute Elapsed in a stoppage time. That's a nice turn from Max Munyai. Sweeper keeper from Ronwin Williams. Wow, the chest and then the clearance. It's brought up well this one. He can under, play. Un under the tutelage of a. <coughs> 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 he can play. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely little burst through to the penalty. And Yama looking for a second ball there. So is Marks Munyai. Knock away by Nklapo. Brooks to Sidat. Oh, Sidat trying the first time feed. It doesn't quite work out. And Gampani Lungu's on the attack. Brooks fighting back, though. Now on Dooley to Mbata. Mbata seems to be running freely again after that little knock that he took. But he can't thread the eye of the needle, Mbata. Pick up here for Andrew Foran. Dooley! And finally, we do have a shot in anger. And he gets it on target. And uh, for me, 
makes a lot of sense if you can hit them hard and low in these conditions, you know. Deflection, skidding ball, difficult for the goalkeeper. It's going to be a corner of Arsis Irates, but uh, he thinks he was fouled by Krobler. He was doing as much foraging as what Krobler was doing. Yeah, the last touch came from Arvas. I, I guess maybe because he was falling, didn't even see it. Uh, it was a footballing incident. Both players equally complicit, I think. The referee allowing the lads to play. Way by Makitan. Two minutes of time were added on to the end of the first half. We've had nearly three of them. Finally, Mr. Bambiso goes to the whistle and close for half time. Super Sports United ending the first half on the attack, but uh, there were opportunities for both sides during the first half, and we saw that shot in anger just a few moments ago from TX Galaxy that was saved by Super Sports United. William, both sides have had opportunities. We haven't got any goals, which we were anticipating in this one, but we do have another half still remaining. Yes, but. Uh we must agree once again that the weather did play a part in uh, not creating the right moments uh, for the two teams to be able to create the goals. You can see that the game was improving as we head into the half time because uh, the conditions were getting better and better and uh, we do hope that it will get even better in that second half. Well we certainly should have an improvement in the quality, the rain's gone away and the pitch should be drying up a little bit outside as well. So Super Sports United and TX Galaxy going at each other, looking for the valuable three points and off in round 10 of the DSTV Premiership. But at half time, it's Super Sports United nil, TX Galaxy nil. We welcome you back to the Lucas Masterpieces Marifa Stadium in Atridgeville. Half time, see Super Sports United and TX Galaxy locked at nil nil. You'll remember that on the 5th of March this year, that was the final score between these two sides. Coach Dan Dance and Malet Seller charge of uh, TX Galaxy at that time, Caetano Tembo in charge of Super Sports United as he is tonight. Is it going to be a similar result or are we going to see TX Galaxy score their first ever goal against Super Sports United in the top flight of South African football? Are Super Sports United going to give back to winning ways? 45 minutes then to decide this one. As we get underway for the second half of uh, this round 10 encounter in South Africa's DSTV Premiership. Good evening and welcome to you. If you haven't joined us yet, nil-nil. Opportunities for both sides during the course of the first half. No changes made at half-time for either one of the two sides. William Shongwe continues to uh, chat alongside me for the second half of this one, as we uh, will on Sunday during the Amazulu Cape Town City match. Difficult game, I must be said, in that first half for both sides because of the conditions. I think for me, it's, a, it's always a big factor. It's a factor that you can't do much about as a coach. It's one of those that you just have to try and adapt as much as you can in the time that you have in the field of play. Loving that little contest in the middle of the park between Ethan Brooks and Tavocha McQuena. Dooley again, beaten in the air by Weber. Weber's had a good match tonight. He's been very involved, not only because he's a set piece taker, but uh, really he's getting himself involved. Now, wider by Ndwandwe for Nyama. Nyama trying to get past the left-sided fullback. This Mabasera is a very, very clever footballer. I guess uh, Basera has studied uh, Nyama very well. He wasn't buying uh, that drop of the shoulder to the left because he knows his left shoulder was looking to cut into the inside. <laughs> Header goes wide of the target and another good opportunity for Nklapo. Header from Bradley Krobler. Oh, what a lovely touch of the ball there. From Sidat. Offside flag has stayed down and Komasulu is in space here. Komasulu through the legs of the keeper and puts the Rockets in front. Caught on the counter-attack here. Super Sports United and TX Galaxy score their first ever goal against Matatanse Pretori. 
The question now comes up, uh, was he onside or offside? It looks for me a little bit there. It might have been an inch or the uh, official on this, this side that pick might have been caught behind the action to be able to pick it up. But uh, we have the privilege of the replay that's going to follow. That's not an injury for the goalkeeper. Now, let's look at this. He comes from deep. He runs through, and Mkwanaz is caught between whether he runs with him or, or was it in Klapo? I think it was on the line. But uh, had composure. And uh, look at the goalkeeper and squeezes past the legs of the goalkeeper. Where's the goalkeeper? You don't quite expect it to come that close. Now, pushing in the penalty area, Makitan has brought down Kabuza, and the referee's pointed to the spot. And Abbas isn't happy, Makitan's not happy, picks up a yellow card, which will make him even less happy. Look, I think uh, Kabuza was on point to get to the ball first, and it was definitely not in the way that he went down. Is not the one that will go down that easy, and obviously this will tell a better story. There's holding, there's pushing. I don't think uh, there's any mistake. Probably waiting for the loose ball, but it wasn't him. And uh, Mokitan appealing to the referee for some clemency there. There wasn't any given by Mr. Bambiso. Average is three yellow cards a match. He's issued three yellow cards in this one. The penalty is going to be taken. The referee making sure that the goalkeeper's on his line. Well, maybe they would have done that in the MTN8 final. But that's uh, another story altogether, isn't it? Oh, obviously, the message is now of, uh, filling through to be able to advise the goalkeeper, say this one likes to take it this side, which I think happens a lot between players and goalkeepers to see if they can add value to help uh, the keeper to make the right decision. Sankagabuza against Vasiliji Kolak. Super Sports United looking for an equalising goal. Takes his time, he's thoughtful here, he's Kabuza. Slots it into the top corner. Kabuza with his fifth goal of the season. Super Sports United on level. <laughs> Whatever that means, <laughs> he's happy. Well, it's well taken. Look, as much as uh, Kolak uh, makes the right decision, always side to dive, but that ball was hit hard, which is the way to go if you want to take a penalty. Uh, you see the niggly pushes from Igor Makitan. Pressure on TX Galaxy here. The draw for Super Sports United will keep them in fourth position and open the door for the likes of Sekakuni United, Pirates and Chiefs who play tomorrow in that derby, Chiefs and Pirates. Or oh, stabbed onwards! Great goal and Pune! Or is it? It is. It is. The second goal of the season and Pune. Snapshot! Super Sports United score back-to-back -back goals and lead by two goals to one. I, I, I'm not sure if he understands the, the, his ability, his true ability. Because I feel like at every time that he's in the floor playing, he just never rises to the occasion. But his ability is of the highest kind. Collect heads it away, but only into the part of Mbule. Look at how Mbule flicks it over. And now he's, he wrecks it with his left foot, nice on the ground on the drop that's a cracker of a goal four minutes of time added on which will be i think more pleasing for tim Sukazi's side than that of matatanta it does open the door somewhat this is in Dwadre. Ethan Brooks. There's still space for the shot. This is Nyama. It's a lovely dig from him and the header. It's gone over the top. He, he could have done better. He's excellent with his uh, head in the area. He's 
He finds himself a bit of space in between the two defenders. Excellent from Nyama to spot him. But the problem is he jumps from a standing position. The ball is not coming with any pace. It's difficult to control those. Could have done better still. Not without opportunity, TX Galaxy. No goals in the first half of this one. Three in the second so far. Munyai loses the battle against the officials and uh, loses the battle against Rainers as well on that occasion. Yeah, just the hand in the face, I think, was uh, the giveaway for the former Leopards man. Super Sports United heading for third position on the table and back to winning ways. With another two minutes to hang on. Ethan Brooks brought down. Oh, the referee's gone to the pocket again. But what he does very well, the man in the mail, is that he's very consistent in as far as uh, how he uh, makes those calls. You know, throughout, you can't say maybe this one he was a little bit harsher and it was a little bit easier on the other. As much as as many as he gives, but uh, there's consistency in the way he gives it. So late on a challenge. Was McQuinn, yes, Ethan Brooks once again. Ball possession given away, and uh, Filippetto is going to have to chase back. Makitan covers on the left hand side of defense, and Filippetto goes into the center then. And they'll switch over. But that's a nice piece of communication between the two foreigners one from Paraguay, one from Bosnia. Space on the edge of the penalty area here. Ikram Reynes thought he was going to go to the corner flag. For the moment, he didn't. Mahachi. Mahachi again. And all they've got to do is keep possession because Super Sports United are just a minute away from registering their fifth victory of the season and getting back to winning ways and getting back to third position on the table. And at least they'll go into the international break with a peace of mind. It's always the best situation as a coach to go into this break having had three points. This Sports United will play against Maruma Galant. Here at Lucas Masterpieces Maripa Stadium on Saturday the 20th of November, while TX Galaxy will also be at home against the Dubai Birds Swallows a day later. When action returns from the international break, and by that time William Strongway Africa will know whether their team has qualified for the uh, Qatar FIFA World Cup Finals. Should certainly do whole thumbs for uh, Coach Bruce. Um, not yet. There's still going to be another small... Oh, there's still another round. Yes. Too big a problem. Yes. TX Galaxy might have scored their first goal ever against Super Sport United, but when the opposition scores two in response, well, then it's a losing cause, and that's exactly what's happened, and Super Sport United remain unbeaten against the Rockets. Great performance by TX Galaxy, but uh, yeah, goals from Gabuza from the penalty spot in Mpule with a lovely effort. Have upset the apple cart for Said Ramovic and looking for consecutive victories. That didn't happen tonight, but uh, I think an improved performance from TX Galaxy all around. And they'll use the international breaks to great effect before they come back to take on Swallows in Mbombela on uh, Sunday, the 21st of November. For Super Sport United, it's a welcome return back to winning ways. And uh, with goals from Gabuza and Mbule, the Super Sports United who win tonight by two goals to one.